much. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Hope you're all doing well. That little bit was my uh, murder. Hmm. So we're going to show you how to install a bed frame and bed and mattress and all the good stuff in your van. Yeah, so this week's video, we're going to cover a couple of things. Um, mainly, like Cal said, the bed installation, how we selected what kind of, how we were going to install the bed and what we've used to do that. Uh, we're also probably going to cover a little like van build update where we're at at the moment in the build and the kind of future projects and what we're looking to do next. Hopefully as well, maybe start a bit of cladding. Hopefully. Yeah. So, let's show you how to fit a bed. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install your bed frame inside said van. Um, we've got a section relay as you know. Um, it's a pretty common way of doing it to be fair. I've seen quite a few videos of this. We're using the IKEA bed, uh, like mid beams. Um, I've seen a few people do it now. Uh, basically we bought three of those to create the distance of a double bed length and width wise and then in between we're just gonna put bed slats and it's gonna almost look like a floating bed which we want because we seen quite a few with um uh, like a wooden frame which we did previously in our uh in our other van but one adds weight two i'm just not a big fan of them you know a lot of people are and that's fantastic just personal preference i just didn't want that in this van um so i'm going to quickly run through some of the tools you might need to install them um so yeah let's gonna have a quick look so here we go um drill um in the uh framework of the van you need to drill a seven hole seven millimeter hole so we've got a 7mm drill bit, one of those. This is the bracket that sits onto, the, onto the, the skeleton, onto the framework. And we have six of these, and that just sits flush against the frame like that. And you see the three holes up top there, we put a bolt through each one of those. I'm only using two because, to fair, three is overkill. Two is absolutely fine. I've already sat on one of the... Um, the uh, center beams already because I've already installed one just to see what it was like. I didn't want to tell you all about it and then not have tried it out. And you guys follow my video and you know have a go at it, same you know, doing what I've said and it not work. So I've already installed one, it worked absolutely fine. Now I know what I need to use to install the other ones, so you guys know for sure that's what you need to use. So like I said, I've got six of those. So we drill through the seven, which obviously I'll run through all this, show you how it's all done, but I'm just showing you the tools. So that's seven. And then this is um, a cone cutter. Um, and for one of those, I put, I go up to an eight because I want the hole to be eight, but I want the hole to be seven. So when I drill through, the M8 bolt what I'm using will sit nicely in there. But because it's a seven, I haven't got a, um, uh, like a self tapper threader um, which would make it easier so I've gone a size smaller so with a bit of force it does create the thread uh, when I put the M8 bolt through so that's working fine you just need to be steady when you do it but I'll show you how to do it all in a minute um, impactor with a 13 mil socket on the end just because the bolt heads are 13 uh, mole grips for when you, dr when you drill out these holes to an 8 I'm using the, these to uh, hold onto these brackets to make sure it doesn't slip or anything. Uh, what else we got here? So this itself is the mid beam, and these are really good. I got these from IKEA. These were twenty pound each. I got three. Um, these extend, which I'll show you again in the van, but um, so it can create the distance what we need. And as always, I'm, I tend to not use gloves on the van build, but. But why not, you know what I mean? Because it gets quite hot, you know, we're drilling through wood. So, you know, always protect yourself as much as you can. So yeah, that's all the tools you need. Um, now let's go out and crack this out so I can show you and hopefully it goes all well. So as I said earlier, mold grips holding onto the bracket like so. And then I'm gonna put this bit onto the drill and then push through 
into the second one because that is an 8mm which I need for these two holes. Don't judge me on how I do things, please. <laughs> I know not always is correct, but... Like so. Now I've bored it out, and it, now it is an 8mm hole. Oh, then I did that, I need that. Same again, I've just done that one, so now I need to do this one. Like so. These two here now, on either end, are 8mm. So now when I push this up against the... That's not too hot, thank God. Let me show you around it. So when now, this can go flush up against there. I can now drill through with a seven. And like I said, I will go straight into those with an eight mil, um, M8 bolt, sorry. And it should thread. With a nice bit of pressure, it should work absolutely fine. So I quickly just marked with a pencil where I need to put my the uh, holes in, and yeah. The idea is just to go slow as possible. So. On the other side, I went quite quick on one and it didn't work quite as how I wanted it. But the idea is it goes slow and it should, like it's doing, work absolutely fine. And there you go. I have one threaded bolt. And it is solid. Now once I've got that other one in there, that will not move. So there we have it guys, all in now. To be honest, it did, it went okay. I thought potentially I drilled the holes too big, but I didn't, which is good, but I originally thought I did and I was panicking a bit. But the process is just take your time with the impactor, go slow, um, I was a bit hasty on my first one. So basically I'd done that back one there first and that was the other night, just to see how it went. Cause then if it didn't go, we can change plans. We can do whatever, but it seemed to go okay. And that one went okay. I messed up a hole, but I bring it forward very slowly and it, it doesn't really matter. It's fine. So on these other ones, I was like, right, let's do the same process, but, um, do the same process. And it worked out okay. But um, yeah, like I said, just take time with it. Um, it could have gone smoother, admittedly, it could have, but you know, it is what it is now. But they're in there, they're solid. I've wiggled them and they just don't move and I can relax now. I feel better about it all. But tell you what, now we've got this in, I know it's a mess, but everything will be tidied. It kind of gives you perspective of how much room you have. Like I know it's silly, like I know we've seen, we planned out how far it's coming out and that's the width and length of a double bed. Now you can see our um, headboard we made the other night, it's flush either end, so it gives us that extra inch that way. And I believe it's about 185 now, Ooh, fly there. 185, 186, and I'm personally 182 in centimeters, so hopefully it will go all right. Um, but yeah, that's smashed. Super glad that went okay. All I need now is to get some slats, get them in. Um, my next job is to cover all this insulation back out of the foil to, with the insulated foil. And then I'm gonna board all underneath them over each uh, wheel arch. So it just is gonna look really smooth, really flush. It's almost like this one piece is gonna be what flowing. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed that goes okay. But that's my next project now. All the brackets are now fixed. 
uh, this side and that side. Going across there, boom, 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 and there, boom, boom, boom. An interesting fact about these, um, when you buy the uh, mid beams, if you do this from Ikea, um, they don't actually come with the brackets. And I've looked online and there's like eBay and other places selling them for like six or like 50 quid and whatnot. And I was like, bloody hell, seriously? Um, wasn't expecting that. So I managed, we watched a video from Will's whereabouts and he did something, he did similar to us. And he said, just go down to Ikea and go to the customer service uh, section and you might be able to get some, you know, they might have some spare there for a bit cheaper. I was like, oh, bro, right. So we went down there a couple of weekends ago and we said, we brought, when we brought these uh, mid beams and um, we're like, oh, do you sell the brackets? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah it's fine. So um, we're like, oh, went through the process. And he's like, how much is that? At the end, we're like, how much is that? And um, she's like, oh no, no, it was because uh, cause you brought them, they're free. So we managed to get six for free. So, um, you know, if you do this, make sure you go down to Ikea, top tip. But yeah, well, I'm at the stage now where they're all fixed and everything. I just need a board up um, underneath the bed now. And um, that should be me done for today, once that's done. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get everything ready, get the jigs all ready. I've already got all the measurements I need. So let's do this. There you go, guys, all complete. That took out of me today, not gonna lie. Um, the bed frame, easy putting in. These bloody um, plyboard cards, let's say, for the underneath I put in there. Fucking bull lake, man. Bull lake. Only because didn't really take into account again for the slantedness of the van. But I've had to make like four of them. But they're in there and they look good and they're done, thank God. But it makes them really nice actually, because now I'm just going to put a nice bit, a nice board across there so you can't see any of that. And it's going to be the garage area. This is slightly lower than probably most. I've seen most have them quite high, but because we put that window in, um, we were limited to what we could do because originally we were going to have two bench seats, but now we're having a fixed bed. We kind of had to go off what the window, where the window was. So we've made it symmetrical with that as in, um, like left and right, let's say, saying the, the windows in the middle of the bed. But um, it was the fact that there's just so many things to consider, you know, to um, factor in and whatnot. But it, as you can tell, I've probably shown you before, but sitting on it, that's holding my weight, super sturdy. Like I said, those brackets just go straight into the, um, like, sh sh not chassis, the, uh, like the bracing around the van. So it's gonna go nowhere. And just got a little job left. Just need to put a frame in Ron's window so I can tuck all that um, foil insulation in and then I can start cladding this wall, getting some lights in. Um, as you can see, I've got all these uh, up here ready for, ready for cable up there also, a couple down there, two's a mess, but that's the not so gl glamorous side of a van build. Mess everywhere. But super happy with that. Easy to install the bed frames. I would highly recommend doing this. Um, super strong. Just, you know, next is to get some slats, get a mattress, test out really, because we're going away at um, the end of, oh, sorry, the end of? We're going away at the start of the bank holiday, which on I believe is the Thursday and Friday and obviously the weekend, but we're gonna go down Wednesday night somewhere. We're gonna try and find a nice overnight spot down in Dorset. Um, but yeah, we'll um, catch up then really, I think. There's a lot to, uh, lot to do, steady process. Um, to be honest, I didn't show you a lot about those door cards because they were just a faff, but I'm pretty sure, you know, if you do your research, you can, you know, just, just got to cut out really 
whatever your wheel arch is like and then just do your, just do your measurements and it's pretty simple just don't copy me so continuing with the bed today um as you can see i've got some bed slats on they're not secure they're just for um just to see what it looks like um we're gonna fix them down with some bolts i see many people do it with self taffers or um like just wood screws and whatnot but i'm going with these m6 you can see that m6 bolt length 25 mil because the idea is to go get all this level obviously symmetrical go down through there out the other side and bolt it through from the other side so i didn't want it to be self tapper because um i wanted the idea of if something went wrong let's say with the electric or something underneath because oh we have some water tank under here as well something went wrong we had to get everything out i didn't want it to be a faff so undoing a bolt simple enough obviously admittedly you can do have, have a self tapper but obviously they're going to be sharp on the other side so I went with these bolts they seem like the best option and the safest and you've had i think this packet of 25 currently was about five pound usually it's a bit expensive now com compared to what it used to be so we were around about three quid so they're now five pounds for a pack of 20 yeah pack of 20 but um yeah i'm just gonna crack on get these fixed and get our mattress on and fingers crossed it holds so you're not gonna believe it boom there it is she's in climb up show you guys oh. <laughs> uh, we now have a bed in the van how awesome is this mine window in the middle slightly lower than we wanted but it is what it is now gotta make most of it you but yeah that's a really simple idea simple plan of how to make your bed in this van it currently is just over six foot in length which is all we needed and um, yeah, I can't really complain to be honest. How how nice is that going to be when we're in the morning? Like, oh, boom. You know, oh, a big bird pillow. Didn't you see that. That's going to be awesome. Can't wait to use this now. That's going to be great. Uh, but yeah, really simple to use, mate. It's really simple to use. Really simple to make. There's brackets. Um, look at the sunshine. Oh, brackets, mid beams. There, there you have it. Bed in the van. Now our next job is to clad up the walls. Yep. Clad up the wall here, all the way over down. Then overhead storage going along there. A couple of lights in there. Boom. That's how we do it. So that's it. The bed's in. It's all done. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm really glad that we have a bed because we're going away this weekend. Uh, where are we going? Uh, we're going down to Dorset. So we're going down to Lyme Regis, uh, most specifically, and a few places on the Dorset coast. Um, and we're going to do a bit of hiking. I'm quite excited. Yeah, definitely. See, we've been there a few times, but there's a few things we haven't tried yet. Um, we're going to try to head to Beerhead, I think, aren't we? Beerhead. We're going to try... I've been there before. Yeah, go that way. I think like... Seaton, Budley, Salt, I think it's called. I love that, that direction. We're going to do our favourite hike. So we're going to hike from Lyme Regis to West Bay, uh, which we've done like, quite a few times. Um, yeah. and it's like our favourite hike. So we're going to definitely do that as well while we're down there. But it'll be our first time away in the van. So we're really excited. Yeah, we and, can't wait. Yeah, we'll um, release a video next week detailing our trip away. And we'll give you like a little update on where we're at with the van. We'll give you a little tour of the van. You might see some sneaky bits in the background <laughs> um, so we'll give you a little update of where we're at with the van build at the moment and what we've got in so far so yeah we hope to see you next week yeah we hope you enjoy your jubilee bank holiday weekend four day bank holiday try to relax do whatever you want to do have fun hopefully and... in the sun don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell notification button whatever it is yeah something like that Thank you guys. Cheers guys. Peace.